welcome back to another video. So in today's one, I'm gonna be showing you everything my three kids eat in a day. So, you know, they've been home all the time and it's summer, there's no more school. So these are just some of the recipes that they've actually been eating. So hopefully your guys' kids will like them too. But before we get into today's video, I wanted to give a huge thank you to KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited about this. The kids are so excited about this because this is a great way to get them away from their electronics and get learning in a fun, creative way. So KiwiCo creates really cool, fun projects and toys designed to expose kids to STEAM learning. So STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. What's really great about KiwiCo is that they have crates for all ages, so even your teen and baby can enjoy these fun projects. So KiwiCo offers eight subscription lines, each catering to different age groups and topics. But you can also buy individual projects with no subscription needed. This would make the perfect birthday gift for any kid. And each box comes with all the supplies needed for that month's projects, so no need to run to the store for anything. So Ethan learned all about rainbow optics and made a color changing lantern and had fun mixing colors of light. This was even fun for us grown-ups to do with them. And Emma made a marble timer and these super cute fashionable dip dye wood art. And even Ezra also learned about colors and played a game identifying and matching colors. So if you're interested, go to kiwico.com slash lisbethrebecca for 20% off everything on the site. Both subscription and everything in the store. And thanks again to KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go ahead and get back into today's What My Kids Eat In A Day. All right, so for breakfast today, I'm gonna to be making all of us some blueberry oatmeal pancakes. This recipe is the perfect amount for the whole entire family. So I'm first gonna start off by soaking the oats. I put two cups of rolled oats in a bowl with two cups of buttermilk, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and set that aside. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start on the dry ingredients. So I'm just gonna be putting one cup of whole wheat flour in a bowl, then adding two tablespoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Then I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up and grab the oatmeal and put it in another bigger bowl. And I'm gonna be putting in two eggs, two tablespoons of melted butter, then two tablespoons of maple syrup, and then one teaspoon of vanilla. So then I'm just gonna start mixing all of that together. And then now it's time to add in the dry ingredients. So with this part, I'm not gonna be over mixing anything. I'm just gonna be using a spatula and gently folding all of those ingredients together along with one cup of fresh blueberries. So these pancakes are definitely a healthier version than regular pancakes, so you're definitely going to want to sweeten it up even more. I know they have some blueberries in there, but for the kids, I like to add some vanilla yogurt on the side and I just top it off with maple syrup. And then for us, I just put a couple chocolate chips while it was like warm still, so it kind of melted. I should have done it while it was cooking. Still tasted really good. And then on the side, I just gave each of them a slice of turkey bacon. But Ezra really just wasn't feeling it today, so I ended up eating his. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so dinner tonight is gonna be so easy because I'm gonna be using the crock pot. I'm gonna be making some barbecue chicken sandwiches for dinner. So I added four chicken breasts to my crock pot. They're actually really thin, so I'm gonna be cooking this for six hours on low, but if you guys are working with thick pieces of chicken, I would go for eight hours until the chicken is nice and soft and easy to shred. But then I'm just gonna be adding one bottle of barbecue sauce. I didn't put all of it in, I left a little bit left, but it was basically the whole entire thing. So then I'm gonna be adding in three fourths cup of Italian dressing, one fourth cup of brown sugar, and two tablespoons of Worcester sauce. Can't say the name for the life of me, but you guys know what I'm talking about. And then I'm just gonna cover it and we'll get back to this a little bit later. 
All right, so today we're gonna be going out. So I'm gonna make the kids a quick little to-go lunch. So I'm just cutting up some pieces of mozzarella cheese. And then I just have these containers that the kids use from school, but they don't really use it anymore, but I'm gonna be using it today. So I'm just gonna be putting cheese in there, little lunch boxes with some washed up cherries. And the baby is gonna be having some sliced up peaches. And then on the side of that, they're all gonna be having some almond flour crackers that I got from Costco. And then just for the older kids, I ended up putting some trail mix in there. Again, from Costco, this is the Kirkland brand, and it just has almonds, peanuts, raisins, and M&Ms. And then since we're gonna be out and about, I'm gonna pack the kids some Sunny D to go bottles. But for Ezra, I put it in a sippy cup because this boy will spill it all over the car. It's so weird, I'll get old. <laughs> So Ezra is just waking up from a nap right now and whenever this kid wakes up he's pretty moody sometimes and usually the way to cheer him up is by food. He's literally my son because <laughs> that's how you could cheer me up. But for his snack I'm just going to be giving him a cup of milk with a banana. And then now it is time to start taking out the chicken out of the crock pot but before I do that I remembered I was like duh I need to put in the fries. So I'm just gonna be putting in some frozen fries that I got from the grocery store. But this is real life and this is what I'm gonna be giving my kids for dinner tonight. So I'm just taking the chicken out of the crock pot so I can start shredding it up. It's so easy to shred it right now because it's so soft. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that back in and start making the side of Kosla. This is mostly gonna be for me and Eric because my kids don't like lettuce on their hamburgers or cheeseburgers or any type of sandwiches. But today I thought I was gonna be able to pull a fast one on them because I found this Kosla mix and this one has a bunch of carrots and my kids actually like carrots. So I thought I would get away with it, but turns out they really didn't like it the Kosla. I feel bad because I kind of messed up their sandwich. But yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys how I make the sauce for the Kosla. So I start off by adding one cup of mayonnaise to my bowl, then one tablespoon of honey, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, then one teaspoon of celery seeds, salt, pepper, mix it all together, and there you have it. And I do the cheating way. You could totally make your own Kosla. But for me, anytime I'll get the chance to cheat, I'll cheat. Sounds kind of wrong, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> So after everyone ate, we got pretty full, so we decided to go to the park. And then after the park, we all decided it would be a good idea to go get some frozen yogurt. This is one of our favorite spots to go to in the summertime. But after that, that is basically it for what the kids ate today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to keep up with all of our latest videos, and we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.